you wrote this beautiful testimonial for us, um, which is in our autism overview document. Could you give me your your um, Could you talk to us about that and what inspired you to write it and what what the, what some differences are that you've noticed in your practice and also as a mother of two autistic boys? Absolutely, I'd be delighted. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to be a part of this program. Uh, seeing the changes in my two boys since we started. Uh, we were just talking about it the other day, my husband and I, that back in the June school holidays, my littlest one was reading very tiny books with a lot of help with me, the cat sat on the mat, that sort of thing, and we would be sounding out letters painfully and it was just not sinking in. And we started the program and within literally months, he's now reading chapter books. In the September school holidays, he was reading big, thick Ben 10 chapter books. Really? <laughs> How old is he? So he's eight. Wow. Yeah, and just to see that enormous change in him in such a short time, they've actually moved him out of the special ed unit now into the mainstream classroom. So we're thrilled oh. at the school. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's managing with uh, his normal peers. And that's the other thing that we've noticed. He's so much more social now than he was before. Uh, it's incredible. Mm. And he got invited to his first normal person's birthday party on the holidays <laughs> which is really exciting <laughs> that just never happens no one ever invites autistic kids to birthday parties <laughs> so i'm so happy how did he cope he was wonderful yeah he just fitted in perfectly normally yep plenty of parents that have no idea he was autistic he's just, wow yeah. so that wouldn't have been possible before no. he was on the, the autism program initiative program before we started he would run a mile if he saw someone he didn't know that he was very shy, very frightened, yeah. doesn't like new things, and yeah, he would sooner walk around the house than walk past you <laughs> to get to the safety of his room where he would just cocoon and wait until whoever was here would leave. Oh, so, wow. yeah, totally different. So how did you start him on the program? What did you do to begin what, yourself? As, speaking as a parent, yeah. what did you find was the first initial steps and how did you get started? I think, um, well, being a practitioner, that made it easier because I was able to do his, do his swab so easily and, and send that off when we got the results back. It's just, the thing I love about this is that it's evidence-based and we could see so clearly exactly what's going on in his body, you know, exactly which sequence And that's through the pathology and the and DNA profile? Yeah, with the DNA profile, we can see the genes that are working and the genes that are not working properly. And that is so powerful. For, uh, and surprisingly, both of my boys, even though they're brothers, had different profiles. So um, they actually ended up on a different treatment program, mm -hmm. <laughs> which, yeah, surprised me. Seeing as they were siblings, I thought they'd be very similar. But that shows me the power in it, because they have very different personalities. And yeah, it was extremely interesting seeing how that how that panned out across mm -hmm. their two panels. Oh, OK. Yeah. And, and have you seen the diff what sort of so they've had obviously different responses individually yeah. to individually, the program yes. yeah my, my oldest is on the spectrum but he's very high on the spectrum so he was already verbal and um, really uh, affectionate and yeah. very communicative. Social, very communicative yeah but even so he was a B student and we had his um, parent teacher interview yesterday and she said there's been this amazing, stunning change in him over the last two months and that just happens to coincide with the two months that he's been on the program. And he's become a straight A student and she said he's top of the class. He's in a 4-5 composite, so he's up there with the year 5s, even though he's year 4. That's fantastic. So that must be very special. It's incredible. The, the concentration he has now, he used to not be able to focus as well. And yeah, so I haven't seen any great leaps and bounds in his speech as I've seen in my little one, but mm. he was already highly verbal. So mm. yeah, the changes for him have been in concentration, and the sociability, and wow. you know, eye contact, that sort of thing. And so what sort of um, interventions were you using before you, used, you started using the Fit Genes interventions? Uh, we've done a lot, a lot of interventions over the years. We've done a lot of OT, a lot of speech therapy, a lot of psychology, a lot. <laughs> a lot Which of is very expensive. It was all very expensive. And that's the thing, I wish that I had had access to this years ago, mm -hmm. if we had been able to do this very first thing when we got the diagnosis and got the genes expressing properly, mm. what a difference that would have made. Mm. Finding out that their vitamin D receptors didn't work, things like that, that mm. are responsible for 900 genes. 900 things were not working properly in my boys 
and now they are. And we're just seeing these stunning changes. Had we been able to do this years ago, I, I believe the OT and the speech and all of those things would have yielded quicker and better results, would have been more cost efficient. And yeah. Yeah. Mm. We would have got places yeah. faster than we did, but yeah. hey, we're getting there now and that's the main thing. <laughs> so, yeah. That's good news.